Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I wanna show you guys how to install Android TV on PC. Now, I recommend installing this to a separate hard drive so you don't mess up any of your Windows operating system or Linux or OS X, whatever you're running. So this tutorial is based on installing this to another hard drive. This is the best way to do it, guys. Um, I do not install any other dual boot operating systems. I do not like installing dual boot. Therefore, I will not make tutorials on dual boot. You're going to need a four gigabyte or larger USB drive. Now I'm using a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive. We're gonna to need to download the Android TV image and we're going to need to download Rufus or Rufus. This is an application that will allow us to flash the Android image to a bootable USB stick. First thing you need to do is head on over to Geek Till It Hurts, geektillithurts.com. Scroll down. We're going to click on the WordPress icon here. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel also. And directly to the video and in the description you can also download it. But here we go, this is the Android TV X86 Build 2. Now this is what I've been using in my videos for the past two days. We want to download the ISO. Now this is a media fire link. It's 338 megabytes large. Go ahead and click on this link and download it. Next thing we're going to need to do is head on over to Rufus. Accio.ie. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. But this is a application that creates bootable USB drives the easy way. And you can download Rufus or Rufus, however you pronounce it, 2.9 right here. And that's pretty much all we're going to need to flash this to a USB drive. I'm going to close my browser out. Now I've already downloaded the image and I have Rufus or Rufus installed. So just right click and extract here. I've already extracted mine. You should see something that looks like this. So it's only 360 megabytes after it's extracted. It's a disk image file. Go ahead and grab your USB stick and insert it into your computer. Just note the drive letter of your USB drive because we want to flash this to the USB drive that we're using. Mine is letter G, and this is a USB 16. I renamed it so I knew that this was my USB drive. Open Rufus. Make sure you have the correct drive chosen in the top device drop-down menu. Mine is G. We're going to use Master Boot Record Partition Scheme. Leave that. FAT32. You can change the cluster size if you'd like, but I just leave mine. New volume label. You can rename it if you'd like. It will automatically rename it. One pass. Free DOS. We just want to go right here and find our image file, which is located on my desktop. The file that I downloaded and extracted. Start. You want to keep this selected right in ISO image mode. All data on your USB drive will be erased, so make sure you have your correct USB drive chosen. It's just going to go ahead and flash the image to your USB drive. We're going to have to reboot the computer and boot from the USB drive. Now I'm going to be installing this to a 60 gigabyte SSD that I have. When it says ready down here, it's okay to reboot your computer. 
Now, depending on the model of your computer, to enter the boot menu, it's either going to be delete, F12, F10, F2. Do some research. You can find that out online. I have a Dell Optiplex, so mine is F12. I'm going to reboot my computer now. So while my computer was rebooting, I hit F12, and that brought me to my boot menu. You're going to want to boot from the USB drive that you flashed the image to. So press Enter. And from here, you can run it live off of the USB stick, but nothing will be saved. And you have a very limited amount of storage. I believe 800 megabytes of app storage. So I want to install this. Make sure you choose the correct hard drive. Now this here, SDA1, SDA2, this is my stock hard drive that I use for Windows. I do not want to touch that. SDB is a secondary hard drive. This is where I'm going to install Android TV. Press Enter. Now I'm not going to format mine, but you may need to format yours EXT4. So you could click yes there. For me, mine is already formatted EXT4. Do not format. Yes, you want to install the bootloader grub. So this is a grub bootloader. Do you want to install EFI grub too? If you don't know what you're doing, go ahead and click skip. Do you want to install system directory as read and write? Yes. What this does, it will use your full hard drive for Android. So now I will have a 60 gigabyte SSD running full Android. From here, you can either run Android x86, and this is Android TV x86, or you can reboot. I'm going to run mine. And we're booting into Android TV. It's very simple, guys. Um, I really do suggest installing this to a separate hard drive. That way, if anything at all goes wrong, you can just wipe the hard drive and try again. When it's done booting, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. We don't have much installed right now, but the best way to get apps installed is to back them up on your Android phone and transfer them to a USB stick. We do have a file manager built in and I'll show you how to use that now. I'm going to insert another USB stick into my computer. It has a few apps on it that I backed up on another Android device and I transferred them to the stick. So I inserted my USB stick I'm going to open up the CyanogenMod file manager. Click on this three little lines up here. My Lexar USB drive. And as you can see, I have a few apps here. If you try to install them from here, you will get an error. What you need to do is transfer them to your internal storage. So what you're going to do, click on the check mark. Go back to your internal storage, and I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder. Now it's in my downloads folder on my internal storage. I can install it from here. It's going to tell you that you need to turn off unknown sources. Very easy. and we can install Chrome. That's it guys. Now you'll get the hang of installing apps. Um, one of the big things is with Android TV, you need 
apps that are compatible with Android TV in order for them to show up on the front menu here. This is a lean back launcher and a lot of apps do not utilize the lean back launcher. There are a few that do, but you can install an app called Sideload Launcher. You can download that on your phone, back it up to a USB drive and install it here. That way you have a full selection of all your apps. If you want to launch Chrome without doing that, you can go to Settings, Apps, and Chrome is right here. Open Chrome. There we go, guys. Super easy install. You can mess around with it. There's tons of stuff you can install. There are a few apps that don't work, but a lot of them seem to work very well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.